Hello, my name is John Chidaki, and I wanted to talk today about a book that um, myself and several other attendees here today wrote and was published today, uh, Supporting Research Communications, a Guide. So we came together as a team to try to define um, our communities and what we see as the values that our community should hold to be good supporters of research communication. Um, many times we see that our infrastructure or our projects are being defined by the projects we work on and not by the people that work on them. And so our aim is to bring together a community that practices a shared set of values and that we start to discuss um, the shared values that we as individuals have when we work on uh, research communications projects. So I thought we could just go through some of the um, shared values that we have defined in our book. Um, number one, be as open and transparent as possible. It's important for good supporters of research communication to show their work and be open. That should be the default behavior of all of our work. Um, this is not always the case with uh, people who are working in our space, but for us, we see responsible supporters should be transparent and that should be the default behavior. Number two is practice what we preach. We have a share, shared common uh, passion for openness and transparency as a group. And so we really wanna make sure that those guiding pr principles are not just what we communicate out uh, and what we say, but actually what we do. So action speaks louder than words. Number three, begin change from within. So each of us working within our own context, we have our own uh, workplaces, we have our own uh, personal scenarios, we have our own, um, you know, some of us work at startups, some of us work at established organizations. Regardless of where we are, we need to see the big picture, we need to see the global perspective, we need to see the long term, and we need to make the change uh, happen where we are uh, within our workplace. Uh, we need to welcome all participants. Uh, supporters are people that are not just interested in uh, keeping themselves and their local communities uh, moving forward, but also bringing new people, newcomers into the supporting of research communication and inclusivity and participation in all of our knowledge systems are key to the, the growth of our community and the pursuit that we have to advance research. Number five, recognize and celebrate differences. So not everybody comes from the same uh, perspective and this is not just about uh, diversity um, from an ethnic or a, a global or geographic perspective, but also from a discipline perspective that very often we use um, humanities or other social sciences or as asterisks when we're talking about hard, you know, lab sciences. And that is not what um, we need to be doing. We need to be thinking about uh, the, the differences and celebrating and recognizing those differences. And that should be core to the way that we support research. Number six, respect multiple solutions. We know that there is no one size that will fit all, especially when it comes to research communications. And so any project that we have needs to make sure that it respects and brings in multiple perspectives and expects that there should be integrations across those multiple tools and that single infrastructures and single frameworks uh, are modern day snake oil. Number seven, uh, stick to your scope. We have a lot going on. We um, know that there won't be a one size fits all. And one of the ways that we can make sure that we're staying true to our project's missions or each of our individual passions is that we really stick close to our scope. We don't try to find um, uh, land grab opportunities to, to further to, to move into other scopes. And we really focus on um, where we can add the most value. Number eight, leverage communal wisdom to move quickly. So a lot of the things that we are doing in research communication um, is, are established practices. And one of the things that we need to do is we need to accept those established practices whenever possible. And we need to make sure that we move uh, uh, forward from, from those places of wisdom. Um, we need to reuse code. We need to reuse technologies. We need to reuse ideas. We need to reuse frameworks. We should not expect that we are the ones that will reinvent, each of us will reinvent the wheel. Number nine, the flip side, we must also encourage healthy skepticism. While there are a lot of um, well-established norms in our field, there are also a lot of um, arguments and justifications that, that do not, um, that, that should be questioned, that are not productive. And what we need to do is make sure that we have a healthy dialogue going, we have healthy critique going within the scholarly communications and research communication space. 
And number 10, collaborate and be stronger together. So like we are all here at JROST to discuss how we can work together, our goal is, as supporters should be, our shared value should be that collaboration should come first. We are stronger together. We cannot do this alone. Some of us are in underfunded projects. Some of us are at well-funded projects, but all ships rise when we all work together. Uh, and that is it. We, um, we would love for each of you to go to our website, supporters.guide, download the book and uh, take a look. And as I was saying before, the goal here is really to focus on what our shared values are as a community and help start a discussion about what can bring us together from a values perspective. Thank you.